We set out to study the relationship of teachers' instructional alignment with standards and assessments with several uh, commonly used measures of teacher quality, both their value added to student achievement and also observational and student survey measures of their pedagogical quality. We uh, were um, a sub-study of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's Measures of Effective Teaching Project, and that project was located in six uh, urban districts around the country. What we expected to find was that uh, there would be strong positive relationships of instructional alignment with these measures of quality, that it would predict student learning on state tests, and also, we uh, were interested in investigating whether there might be interactive effects, such that instructional alignment might matter more if uh, that instruction was of high quality, right? Or vice versa, that instructional quality might matter more if the instruction were on things that were going to be assessed or in the standards. And so what we actually found, what our main takeaway was, was that there were very weak to zero relationships among these constructs in our data set. So we found um, very weak relationships of instructional alignment with any of the measures of pedagogical quality. And we found weak relationships of the uh, measures of pedagogical quality with the value added measures themselves. So basically all of our measures are weakly correlated with each other. What we're left with is this concern that state tests really aren't picking up the things that we think of as being good teaching. These findings are very important, um, particularly as value-added measures and uh, new teacher evaluation measures are being used for an increasingly wide array of decisions. Um, what we found in our results, and were, it was also found in the main MET study and many of other studies, is that state tests don't seem to be sensitive to many of the things that we think of as defining uh, quality instruction. And the fact is that while these measures do provide information, it's very clear that value-added measures provide information and that they predict some long-term outcomes. And it's also clear that observational measures provide information about pedagogical quality, that uh, these measures are not yet, I think, up to the task of being put into, say, an index to make uh, important summative decisions about teachers. And so I think what these results, uh, among other results, call into question is um, the sort of fixed and formulaic approach to teacher evaluation that's being uh, promoted in a lot of states right now. But I think that these findings raise some concern for practitioners because what they suggest, again, is that value-added scores don't seem to be um, reflecting the quality and content of the work that teachers are doing in the classroom. If the things that we think of as defining good instruction don't seem to produce substantially better student achievement, then how is it that teachers will be able to use those value-added results to make instructional improvements? It's clear that new teacher evaluation policies are among the most important policy issues going on right now, and states and districts really need quality information about these new systems. And so I think that it's great that AERA is um, promoting quality research around the design of new teacher evaluation policies. Um, and hopefully this research in conjunction with the other research from the MET project will help inform new systems that can really move the needle on teacher performance.